course, Lego Lake uh, Robotics Program is focused on helping the students uh, 9 through 14 to uh, find problems in the world and solutions to the problems that they will be facing when they grow up. For example, last year the challenge was called Food Factor, where they had to find a problem that was faced with food and they had to find a way to solve the problem. For example, they, they tried to fix the problem that many uh, trans transportation companies had, such as how do they keep food fresh and when they're transporting it from hundreds of miles away to their destination. So they, got, they had to come up with a solution to that program. This year's um, competitions challenge is based on senior solutions. How do you make the life of seniors easier? How do you how do you solve some of the issues that they face so they can have a better life? So that's basically the the focus on the program to get them thinking about real life problems and how they can solve them using technology. In the program, the kids learn many skills that they will use in their real life. For example, they learn how to, how to um, work as, as a team. They got to be able to, um, like I said before, find problems and find not only solutions, but innovative solutions to the problems. They got to be able to uh, make a presentation where they got to learn uh, public speaking skills. They gotta be able to uh, create and program the robot to solve the missions, which they use uh, programming and computer skills. So basically, the program teaches them teamwork, public speaking skills, uh, how to use computers, how to program robots, and how to how to work with people from other cultures and other beliefs. I think that it's very important to involve the parents as well. The youth see their parents, uh, if the youth see the parents participated in the program, they get inspired to go to the program. They like to show their parents what they are doing in the program. When the parents don't participate, many times the kids feel that the parents don't really uh, care or appreciate what, they, what their kids are doing and sometimes that makes the kids feel bad. But when they see their parents right there next to them, helping them with the program, always there cheering them up and supporting them in every way they can, then that inspires the, the students to, to work hard and also helps them not only in the program, but also in the schools because they see their parents that they do care about what they're doing. It is very important for businesses, institutions, organizations to fund these programs, especially in the Hispanic community, because there is a lot of Latino kids that have a lot of potential. Many of them are really good in math, science, technology, but many times they don't have a place where they can practice those skills, where they can show their full potential. And when they don't have a place, many times they, they use that potential for the wrong reasons. If businesses, organizations um, fund programs like the robotics program, then that gives a place to those Hispanic kids to go to a place where they can share, where they can practice, where they can develop their full potential, which is not, always, it's not all, only going to benefit the program or them in the program, but it's going to benefit them their over, overall um, life experience. As they grow older, they're gonna have a lot of skills, a lot of, a lot of knowledge, and they're gonna be able to, to find new doors to go to college or go to other places, as opposed to uh, not doing anything and, go, and going out to the streets and joining gangs and doing things that they're not supposed to. So I think it's very important for institutions to fund these programs. Also because technology is growing rapidly, 
the use of technology is, uh, I don't think the human being can live without the technology anymore. We use it in our everyday life, whether we like it or not. We have a phone, we have um, electricity, we have water, we have uh, everything that we use uh, involves technology directly or indirectly. Start starting to build a workforce of students who are uh, have a lot of knowledge uh, with technology can create a new wave of well-prepared students that can go into the workforce and contribute to the to the economy not only at the local level but at the state and national levels as well.